Example 6, what's the sum of the square root of 27 plus the square root of 48 plus the square root of 147? So again, these are all square roots, square root, square root, square root. First thing I would do is do a factorization. So if I did 27, 3 times 3 times 3, right? 48 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And one thing I might recommend also, because we're going to be pulling stuff out when you're writing these, let me just do a little forethought here. I've got this. I'm leaving some space in front of it. I'm going to put plus. I'm going to leave some space here. So square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Then there's a plus sign. Then I'm going to leave some space in front of this. 147 is uh, 3, 7, 7. 3 times 7 times 7. If you leave that space in front, then when you pull stuff out, you have a place to put it, right? So we're kind of anticipating what we're going to do on the next step with that. Each of these is a square root, so a square root requires a pair of factors to pull one out. So a pair of threes in, one three comes out. A pair of twos in, one two comes out. A second pair of twos in, so a second two comes out. Everything that comes out is going to multiply together. Here a pair of sevens in, one seven gets to come out. In each case, since it's an understood root of 2, we're going to pull out pairs. Okay, once I've pulled all that stuff out, if I push it all back together, make it as pretty as I can, on this first object, I've got 3 times the square root of 3. The second object, I have two things pulled out, so I'm going to get 2 times 2 is 4 times the square root of 3. And here only 7 came out, 7's out, 3 stayed in. And now everything I'm looking to add or subtract, if possible, have to have the same radical to do that. Square root of 3 matches square root of 3 matches square root of 3. So to get the new coefficients, 3 plus 4 plus 7, which is 14 times the square root of 3. And again, your final answer should look like this on these problems. If one of these square roots did match, let's say, for example, this was a 2 instead of a 3, 3 times the square root of 2, 11 times the square root of 3 for this, and then the 3 square root of 2 for that. So again, if the radicals don't match, do not add them together. If they're all different, stop here. If it was 2, 5, and 6, or 2, 5, and 8, whatever, something like that, then you stop there. So again, they match, so you can do it. If they don't match, stop.